Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing some more work on this uh, Sylvania SV2000 VCR DVD combo unit. Basically, the issue is it's eating tapes. And I've tried to fix this before unsuccessfully, but after doing a little bit more research, I probably just need to clean the mode control switch, which involves taking this apart. And you pretty much have to take the whole thing apart pretty extensively. And these really weren't made to be taken apart. So it's a little, it is a little bit involved, but we'll go ahead and do it today. Um, it's a pretty good unit. I've tested DVDs on it. DVDs play fine. Um, we'll test a v VHS here and I'll show you kind of what it's doing. So let's switch it over to the VCR. Go ahead and put our VHS in here. It goes to play. And it kind of just shuts off. And when I get it out, now it's stuck in there. So let me open this thing up, get this thing unstuck, and we'll try and fix it. So we'll start out with the obvious screws on top here. Get these all taken out. One, there's two, three, there's four. I'm gonna just put that in there for now. And then there's, uh, let's see, there's some clips under here. Three clips. I'm trying to get this off without breaking it. Close. There it goes. This is kind of the inside here. So now we can at least get this tape free. I have a video basically on what to do if your tape gets stuck. But essentially, you don't want to just like rip it out. Basically what you want to do is flip this top part up and kind of gently guide the tape away from everything. Knocked you guys over. And here we go. Tape has been rescued. So at least if you made it this far into the video, you've rescued your tape. Let's see, we will work on that more later. So I gotta get this whole, kind okay, of you can see the circuit board down there. I need that whole thing to come up, which, which means I'll take this off. Probably disconnect some of these ribbon connectors here because the mode control switch is underneath this stuff at the very bottom. So it's going to be not fun getting it out, but basically all you can do is completely dis disassemble this thing in order to save it. And that is what we will do. We'll just start taking out 
screws here and every model of this is a little bit different. This is the SV2000. So I'm just gonna take, a, take out a bunch of random screws essentially and get this whole thing taken apart. Let's see, looks like there's some more clips for this front piece here. Get a flathead screwdriver and kind of pop these up. There you go. See one more. So this whole piece came off. Now you get a kind of a view from the front here. So the mode control switch is right back here. I am considering just spraying some of this electric contact cleaner directly at it and seeing if that helps. So I'm going to try that. Let me grab a towel real quick. So I got my towel put down. At this point, I'm going to try and just spray this mode control switch. I can see it there. I just don't know if it's going to be able to get on the contacts the way I want them to when it when it's still put together. You kind of have to take it apart. So let me give that a second to dry, and then I'll get back with you guys, and we'll put the tape in and see if we can get it to work. Okay, so I got it to dry, plugged it back in. Tape is in there. We'll go ahead and hit play. So right now it doesn't appear to be working. Okay, and it just ejected the tape and didn't even bother winding it back up. So unfortunately our easy fix did not work. We will take this tape back out and continue taking this thing apart. And I'll go ahead and just put you guys on a time lapse for the rest of this because it probably will take a minute. So enjoy. most of the screws out that I need. Let's see if I can get this out. So maybe there's one I missed here. Yeah, I'm okay. Let's see. Try lifting from this side. Again, it's just a process of wrestling this out. Let's see what I'm getting caught on still. I 
might just be kind of a, I think there might be a screw somewhere in the middle. I'm still catching on here. Let me wrestle with this for a little bit. I'll get back with you guys. So it appears this screw here is what's holding it in still. Because this black piece is attached to the frame, I believe. So let me go ahead and get that out. And then I should be good to get this thing out of here. There you go. That's fairly satisfying for that to just come out like that. Still got this power cord attached over here. We can just hopefully pry up. There it goes. So there's a couple screws that hold this board on the ones here at the bottom. Looks like the other one's actually missing, which is interesting. I wonder if someone's tried to fix this in the past. Let's go ahead and put this down. Let's see if we can see, you can see the mode control switch right there. Let me see if I can pry it up. Basically it's this little piece right kind of right in here. It might be hard to see on camera there. Let me see if I can pry this thing up. Maybe I can take the, get a better look at it. Take this one screw out. And these screws on the bottom are what really make this job difficult. And it looks like it's already missing one, which makes me wonder if someone's tried to fix this in the past and was unsuccessful. If you made it this far, and you weren't able to fix it. Might be something that's difficult to fix. All right, screw is out. Is there a screw I'm missing somewhere else? Don't think so. I'm just not sure why this, what's keeping this board on here. Let me troubleshoot this a little bit and I'll get back with you guys. Okay guys, so it's real sneaky, but there's a screw that's actually hidden underneath this ribbon cable here. And there was also a screw on the back of the board here, kind of where that, that piece holds onto it. So I got that out. I'll see if I can get that ribbon cable one out, and then I'll have pretty much all the access I want to the bottom of this, and I can clean that mode control switch. So let's see if we can get it out without damaging anything. They really don't want you working on, working on these, apparently, for that kind of screw placement. Let's see if we can... There we go. Get out a little bit more. 
Okay. So we should be good. There we go. So there's the mode control switch there. I should be able to get that out now. Let's see if I can kind of just pop it up. There it goes. So I almost gave up on it there, but you can kind of see here how it's oxidized, and that probably is our issue. So what I'm going to do is going to spray it down. I'll get right back with you guys. So I'm using CRC electrical cleaner. Hopefully this is good enough. A lot of people like deoxit. You can go ahead and get the straw off here. But let me know what you would use at home. But hopefully this will work and it'll be a good review for the CRC cleaner. But I'd like to get that kind of black mark that you can see on there off of it. If it'll focus, you can kind of see how it's dark there. So I even got a toothbrush to just see if I can get this looking a little better. It doesn't seem to be coming off. And that may just be how it looks all the time. Let me spray a little more on there. <laughs> but this was on there real tight, so I can see how just spraying it from the outside didn't, didn't really do much. And then I'll go ahead and spray this contacts on the inside as well. Go ahead and hit him with the toothbrush. Mister. Okay, and I'll put this back on there. And I will be a little bit surprised if this works because it just doesn't seem like it was that dirty, to be honest, after looking at it more closely. And maybe it's just with something else going on and but this is a this little switch is indexed on there so I have to just line up one hole here so let me put you back on a time lapse I'll put this thing together to the point where we can test it we'll go from there Okay, so I think I have it assembled to the point where I can do a little bit of testing. I've got my tape. Wind it back up. Oh, look at that, it's playing. Let's go ahead and hit stop. Fast forward. Not sure what just happened there. Hit 
play. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure what happened there. It was working pretty good for a minute. And okay. So it looks like it's maybe ready to eject the tape. Let me look at it some more. Okay, so I just basically I had accidentally turned it off using the eject button. Um, let's hit the stop button. Stop. Let's hit the fast forward button. Fast forwards, hit the stop, hit the rewind button. Rewinds. The stop button, hit play, and it plays. So that's, I'd call that a success, guys. Pretty surprised that actually worked, but at this point, I'm just going to put it back together. Um, if you guys got any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. But thanks for watching. If you want to see, I have a bunch of other VCR videos. If you want to see those, go ahead and check them out. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you all next time.